Welcome to Pass the Pistol, a series about small space gardening, design, and hands-on living. I'm Emily Murphy, and I'm making a worm bin. Now, it might not sound that exciting, but worms are a fabulous way to recycle your kitchen scraps and make soil for your garden. These are red wiggler worms. They're surface feeders, and they make compost quickly by eating through your kitchen scraps. The first thing to remember when making a worm bin is that they're living creatures. And like other living creatures, they need food, water, shelter, and air. So my worm bin has to have circulation and ventilation. I've added these drill holes here using a quarter inch drill bit. This is gonna be the bottom of, my, bottom of my bin. You can see that it's solid, it doesn't have any holes. And then the next level actually has holes in it. Worms can move through here, water can move through here, sort of like a cup and a saucer. To make the bedding, I'm gonna be using shredded newspaper and leaves because believe it or not, worms will end up eating the bedding besides the kitchen scraps. I'm gonna start by filling it about one third full. Worms live in a moist environment, so their bin needs to be moist as well. And once that feels like a wrung out sponge, not too wet, not too dry, then I'm gonna add a little bit of grit. This is garden soil. The grit helps the worms with their digestion. And I'm also adding fungi and bacteria to the bin at the same time, which also helps with decomposition. Next, of course, the worms. Now, I've ordered these from a local worm farm, but you can probably also find red wigglers, say, at a bait shop. I'm gonna add them in. And I can add kitchen scraps now, too. So you're gonna add your kitchen scraps in, and you can add them in every few days, once a week. And when you do, just put the food in a new place. I'm gonna put this in so it's another third of bedding material. Spray it again so the newspaper is damp. You're gonna cover it over and you're gonna store it in a location that's not too cold and not too hot, about 50 to 75 degrees. And there you have it. You can add kitchen scraps and make soil for your garden. For more simple solutions to creative gardening, visit PassThePistol.com. Find me on Pinterest, Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and remember, grow what you love.